Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a payment table in Excel using the What If Analysis data table. So here's our scenario. I want to borrow $100,000 at an interest rate of 3 and 3 quarter percent and I'm going to borrow that money for 30 years or 360 months. So the first thing we want to do is just create um, to see what that payment will be. So we're going to use the equal PMT function, which is it calculates the payment for a loan based on a constant payment and constant interest rates. I'll hit tab. So what's my rate? My rate is three and three quarter percent divided by 12 because it's going to be paid monthly. Hit comma. My number of periods is 360 months comma again and my present value is a hundred thousand dollars close that up hit enter and it shows 46312 now Excel will show that as a negative because it's a debt that you'll have now if you want to just show that as a positive number all you need to do is put a minus sign or a dash in front of the payment and it'll convert convert that to a positive number now what if we want to see what that payment's going to be with various lengths of time and various interest rates? Well, I've set up a little table here that I'll unhide the rows and columns on and let's see how we can create that. So here in our table we have four different lengths, whether I want to do it for 10 years um, or 120 months, I want to do it for 180 months, 240 months, or 360 months. And I already also set up the interest rates from 3.5% all the way up to 5% just to see what those variables would be. So what we're going to do is just highlight that table. And again, notice how we have the formula that we had there, uh, minus PMT, in that area in the upper left hand corner. We want to make sure we highlight that along with the number of payments as our column headers and the interest rates as our row headers. Highlight that and then we'll go to the data tab and the what if analysis in the data tools group and we'll choose data table. A dialog box will pop up and we just need to input the row input cell and the column input cell. So our row input cell in this case is the 360 months or the number of months there. The column input cell is the interest rates because the interest rates here is what's going to fill up that column. And all I do is hit OK and voila! It gives us all of the rates that we would pay based on the different scenarios of number of periods and the number of interest rates. And the 46312, which was our 3 and 3 quarter percent for 360 months, is right here 46312 so that checks out and there you have it very simple nice tool that Excel provides to calculate payments for your variables of your length of time and your interest rates hope you liked it hope it's useful to you if you'd like to see more please feel free to stop by at my website excel-bytes.com and I hope you subscribe happy excelling